seven, six, five. Run for main engine start. We NASA's space shuttle program was a shining new phase in America's journey to the stars. The goal? Reusable rockets ferrying astronauts and cargo into orbit for decades. Uh, Roger, Columbia. At first, it did just that. Launches and landings became routine, and space just another destination. Until the Challenger. The program just couldn't shake safety concerns, and disaster struck again in 2003 when the shuttle Columbia disintegrated upon re-entry, killing everyone aboard. We had to do our mourning, a very, very, very tough situation. Lots of crying, lots of crying. When the U.S. shuttle program was shut down in 2011, the government officially portrayed it as a redirection of NASA's focus towards deep space exploration. I have been pushing NASA to uh, revamp its vision. The shuttle did some extraordinary work in uh, low orbit, but now what we need is that next technological breakthrough. Space is really a hard thing to do. And I think one of the issues we'd had with our stakeholders was NASA wasn't really allowed to fail. In reality, turning around reusable rockets took a lot of time, and flying into space just cost a lot of money. The U.S. spent $290 billion in today's dollars on the Gemini and Apollo programs that put the first man on the moon. And by the time the shuttle program ended, it was costing the government nearly $1.6 billion per flight. President, welcome aboard the International Space Station. The hope, by shifting NASA's focus into deep space, the financial burden of supporting the International Space Station would move to private companies. Cue Elon Musk. It's an amazing day, I think, for space uh, as a whole, for the, sp for the space industry. Even before he founded Tesla, Musk had set his eyes on space. He launched the company SpaceX in 2002 with the idea of reusing rockets to reduce the cost and doing it better. You can fly and refly an orbit-class booster, which is the most expensive part of the rocket. Uh, this is going to be ultimately a, a huge revolution in spaceflight. SpaceX, along with Boeing, secured $6.8 billion in NASA contracts to help fly U.S. astronauts into space. Two heads are better than one, and honestly, getting like 400 of them is even better. In 2012, Musk's SpaceX launched its Dragon spacecraft, the first commercial vehicle to deliver cargo to and from the International Space Station. And in 2020, Dragon carried a NASA crew to ISS for just $55 million per seat, 20% less than Russia was charging the US for the same service. And SpaceX isn't alone. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin was among several companies that received NASA funding to develop spaceflight technology, marking the next giant leap in commercializing space.